Tonight, legendary basketball coach Bobby Knight is being remembered. Knight passed away today at the age of 83, and he was as famous for his outbursts on the court as well as his winning record as a coach. Nick Camino joins us now with a look back on his incredible career and his ties to Northeast Ohio. Hi, Nick. Yeah, good evening, Russ. Yeah, when it comes to Bobby Knight, it's difficult to describe the man. It's hard to look back on his life and career because there's just so many layers to it. Plenty of winning on the basketball court, along with quite a bit of controversy. We take a look back on Bob Knight. There are not many names more synonymous with college basketball than Bobby Knight. He was controversial. He was fiery. He was a winner. And he was an Ohioan. Robert Montgomery Knight was born in 1940 in the small town of Orville, Ohio. There he played basketball, baseball, and football for the Orville Red Riders. Then it was on to Columbus, where he played basketball for the Buckeyes. Bobby mostly rode the bench for Ohio State, who was led by Jerry Lucas and John Havlicek, going to three straight national title games. His start in coaching came early, and he rose through the ranks fast. First at West Point, where he coached a young Mike Krzyzewski. Then, in 1971, at just 31 years old, he was named the head coach of the Indiana Hoosiers. His 1976 team going 32-0, the last undefeated team in NCAA history. He'd had two more national titles in 1981 and 1987. And his wins were not just on the national stage, but the international stage. In 1984, Bobby Knight coached Michael Jordan and Team USA to Olympic gold, the last U.S. amateur team to win it all. One of the greatest moments in Cleveland sports history came with Knight on the sidelines when his nationally ranked Hoosiers were upset in the very first round of the NCAA tournament by Kevin Mackey's Cleveland State Vikings. But the wins and losses were only a part of Bobby Knight's story. He'll always be remembered for his 1985 chair toss at Assembly Hall. Look at here, look at here. Bobby Knight just threw his chair clear across the free throw lane. And for always speaking what was on his mind. I want they bury me upside down and my critics can kiss my <laughs> In the year 2000, Bobby Knight was asked by Indiana to resign after allegedly grabbing the arm of a student. When he refused, he was fired. He'd coach again for seven seasons at Texas Tech, but he was never able to reach the heights that he did while in Bloomington. His 902 career wins puts him sixth all time. One thing's for sure, love him or hate him, there will never be another quite like Bobby Knight. And Bobby Knight's legacy is obviously a little bit complicated, right, when you look back on his life and his coaching career, but there are some great stories that surround him in his career around the game of basketball. You think back to the 1984 NBA draft, at the time, the Portland Trailblazers, they had the number two overall pick in the draft, and their general manager at the time, Stu Inman, he asked Bob Knight, hey, what do I do with this number two overall pick? And Bobby Knight said, well, you got to draft Michael Jordan. And Stu Inman said, well, we need a center, though. And all of a sudden, Bobby Knight says, well, then play him at center. You're going to draft Michael Jordan, okay? you got to take Michael Jordan. Well, as the story goes, the Trailblazers do not take Michael Jordan. They take Sam Bowie with that pick, who turns out to be one of the biggest draft busts in NBA history. The Chicago Bulls with the number three overall pick right behind the Blazers, Michael Jordan. Should have listened to Bobby Knight there, Stu Inman. <laughs> well, of course, here in Northeast Ohio, a lot of folks in Oroville, very sad to hear this news, too, because, of course, that was his hometown, gymnasium yep. named after him. Uh, he was very philanthropic within the community, still came home to visit, so certainly a loss for that town yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Nick, thank you so much. You got it.